Well, it's tremendously encouraging to see the way the students here are using the technology. Uh, this uncontended uh, uh, symmetrical broadband rollout is happening all over the country. Uh, we have completed 14 western counties. Uh, the current contract is for the Greater Dublin region and Kildare and Mead. And uh, the exercise will be completed in 2014. And the idea is that uh, the students of today will have access to the best and latest technology in terms of enriching the learning experience. And uh, certainly one would be encouraged uh, from what one has seen here in Warren Mount, uh, you know, to see four young women uh, studying higher level maths remotely by arrangement with uh, Kalosh Tabrija in Clondalkin. Uh, so, you know, that's something that would have been unheard of even a few years ago. So it, it is tremendously encouraging. I've known this school for quite some time, but I think it has been completely transformed by its connection with what we saw upstairs, which was to their sister college out in Clondalkin, but it could have been on the Canary Islands or anywhere else in the world. And in fact, they are talking to different parts of the world and sharing resources, sharing debates, sharing um, what we saw upstairs, which was four young women from this school who wanted to do higher level maths were plugged into a higher level maths class in Clondalkin. If we hadn't got the technology of the broadband and all the equipment on either side of it, uh, the young, four young women here in this school live in, in fifth year would not be able to do higher level maths. And that would close out all sorts of options for their career choice going into the future. And that's what technology does. Uh, and that's what this technology has done. By the end of next year, all 723 post-primary schools in the Republic will in fact be able to talk to each other and in fact share resources, share ideas and, and do a whole lot of things that previously they couldn't do. Um, it sounds amazing to the likes of me, but young people take it as for a normal. They carry it around in their pockets, they have their own mobile phone, they have every sort of app that they want to use. So this is an extension in the classroom of what they're doing outside the classroom. So it's not alien to them, it's actually fairly normal for them, but it's, it's new ground for us. Uh, and the people who are most fearful of it in some respects are old fogies like us who, who don't realise its full potential. And that's why I'm not a bit surprised that young people uh, have adapted to it and create their own conventions about how it's used and how to manipulate it and how to extract the best returns from it.